Hello friends, here I am speaking with you on time management and productivity. This is me, Kiran Bedi. Little about me, I think by now you must be known that I was the first woman to join the officer ranks of the Indian Police Service. And the rest of you, you can see what happened. It got some awards and became a UN police advisor. I was, by the way, an also nation tennis champion. And since I'm talking about time management, you will see how much I could do, achieve so much as a student. That's what we're talking about. How could I do it? It's look at this. Let's understand what do we have during the day. Look, we have 86,400 seconds each day. Every night this account becomes empty, doesn't it? We are left with no credit because every day new 24 hours comes. We don't carry over and take over time. And you cannot st store it. You cannot overdraw it. So therefore, investing 86,400 seconds is in our hands. It's a matter of seconds. Health, happiness, success depends on us. Whether we fail or pass depends on variable factors. Each of us arrives with a gift of energy, don't we? Look at every child comes with a gift of energy. We draw energy from what we think and what we do. But remember, it's first is what we think and then what we do with what we think. Doing it the right way and the right amount is important. These are the things I was quite conscious of as a student. And most important now as you grow, listen to your body clock. Our body system has inbuilt clock. It makes us aware of the needs and changes within the body. You must listen to your body clock. When it's tired, let it rest a little. And when it's full of energy, don't go to sleep. Go and give yourself a, uh, priorities. So the body wants attention, care and right use. Every purple patch has a time span. So friends, there are three periods and their purpose. You have a past, you have a present and the future. The past is for learning from experience to live well in the present and future and prepare for the future and not just continue to delve in the past, but it's actually to learn and prepare for the future. We must know a high output and low, low output hours. It's very, very important. The, you must know which are the part of the day is your high put high output time and which is low output hours. So to do more in less time, personal discipline is the key. That's a habit if you inculcate is very, it's one bit at a time, one habit at a time. Personal discipline is the key. Stick to first things first is very vital. If you have emails and Facebooks have to wait, let them wait. But first things first, I think that's a personal discipline. It's an everyday, even not only as a student or otherwise, but even as a lifetime habit. Make to-do list and budget your time. It's very vital. 80% of the success comes from 20% of your activities. Always remember. So what have you sown? You see, you reap what you sow in these 86,400 seconds. Today is what you did till yesterday. So if you want trust, are you sowing honesty? If you want victory, are you sowing perseverance? If you want success, are you sowing hard work? So fruits of labor are based on the choices you make through the day, one day at a time. Time management and value for time learned as a child, friends, are two of the most valuable assets early in life. My father and mother taught me this. And guess what? This has to be revised every day. It has to be a lesson learned and revised every day. That's what life is all about. Wish you great success. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.